Top 10 Best Things to Do in Amsterdam Amsterdam is the thriving capital of the Netherlands and the country's most populated city with approximately 842,000 people living in a central municipality. During its early years a major city, Amsterdam saw a great boost due to trade with the Hanseatic League and then became a center for free press in the 16th century after the Dutch Revolt and the Eighty Years' War. After a decline in fortunes and development during the 18th and 19th centuries, in modern times Amsterdam has become a modern and diverse city that is famed worldwide. With a wide range of historical architecture, public parks, quality museums and diverse attractions, it offers endless opportunities and is one of the prime tourist destinations in Europe. 1. Anne Frank House a trip to Amsterdam is not complete without visiting this historic house. Anne Frank was a girl who hid from the Nazis during World War II and left an extensive diary that has been punished worldwide and provides a look at what it was like for the Jewish people during this troubled and dark period. The actual building where Anne and her family hid not contains a museum dedicated to her and inside you can find reconstructed rooms, many artifacts from the time and the original house, and even a reconstructed bookcase that was used to hide the entrance to the secret annex the family hid in. This truly is an interesting and poignant museum to visit, be wary of the queues however as you may be in for a long wait. 2. Heineken Brewery Tour Home of the famous brew, Amsterdam presents the Heineken Experience which is a really fun-filled attraction where you will both learn about the brewing process and also enjoy a couple of cheeky drinks. The tour section takes you through the brewery and shows you how the drink is created, you get to see the large hops tanks, taste the pure alcohol and watch the beer being bottled. There are also many cool historical artifacts from the history of Heineken such as different beer mats. There is also a 3D ride that takes you through the creation process and is quite entertaining and surprising in places. To top it off there is a lounge area decorated with beer bottles and cans, and a section where you can create your own Heineken bottle with a personalized label. 3. Canal Boat Tour This might be considered a cliched touristic thing to do, but you simply cannot go to Amsterdam without taking a boat tour on the canal system. The canals are one of the main reasons that Amsterdam is so famous, so why not experience them first-hand on a guided tour? The majestic waterway that runs through the Centrum Inns Amsterdam stretches for miles and creates many stunning parts of the city such as the Emperor's Canal and its beautiful architecture. There are many boat tours, but the most notable one is run by Greyline and has collection points and ticket stands in the Domrock Canal near the train station. 4. Emperor's Canal. This is one of the main canals in Amsterdam and is named after Emperor Maximilian, of Austria. The Emperor's Canal is the central of three of the main waterways that form the semi-circular ring around the Centrum and Old Town. The canal is 31 meters wide and in winter, the waters often freeze and you can skate along the ice. This stretch of canal is one of the most beautiful in Amsterdam, trees line the water, Opulent bridges cross the water and are lined with many bicycles and the buildings that run parallel with the water have a typical Dutch style with gabled roofs and a myriad of colors. Attractions on the canal include the House with the Heads, the Homo Monument, the Syrian Orthodox Church and the Greenland Warehouses. 5. Van Gogh Museum Vincent van Gogh is one of the most renowned and intriguing artists in history and the museum that holds his namesake is a fantastic place to learn about the man and his works. The museum is located not far from Fondelpark on Paulus Potestra and in close proximity to the Rijksmuseum. This extensive art museum contains a huge amount of paintings from van Gogh together with select collections from other artists such as Monet and Matisse. Aside from the stunning artworks, there are also a selection of letters and drawings and also information about why he is such a renowned and iconic figure. 6. Rijksmuseum Another of Amsterdam's fine museums, the Rijksmuseum has it all, a stunning building that has a similar design and style to the central station, a huge collection of crafts, art and history dating back as far as the 1200s and also the amazing I Amsterdam sign that stands outside on the art square. 
the museum contains over 1 million objects in total, of which only 8,000 are on display, that's still a large amount. Displays include paintings from the Dutch Golden Age, the stern of the HMS Royal Charles and a dedicated Asian pavilion. You could spend hours in this delightful and eternally interesting establishment. 7. Fondle Park This fantastic park is an absolute pleasure to walk through on a summer's day and is a haven in the center of Amsterdam. The park lies on the edge of the canal rings and is close to the Rijksmuseum and the Heineken Experience. The grounds of the park are well tended and there are several small lakes surrounded by trees and sculptures that the locals and tourists of Amsterdam sit by and relax. Free concerts are played here at the open air theater and you can also hire a bike to cycle through the many winding paths. If you have children, the park also has six play areas, there is something for people of all ages. 8. Dam Square this is the main square in central Amsterdam and lies only a 10-minute walk from the central station. The square was built in the 1400s and has been a central point for the city ever since. On the square you will find the amazing Royal Palace which is a brilliant destination in its own right, the national monument that pays tribute to fallen soldiers, the new Kirk Church which often contains art exhibitions, and a selection of architecturally rich hotels and shops including a Madame Tussauds waxworks. 9. Red Light District Although not to everyone's taste, the Red Light District is part of what makes Amsterdam famous and it is a great idea to visit this part of the town, just to see what the fuss is about and the often bizarre shops and displays that you can find here. Otherwise known as De Wallen, the district is located in the center of Amsterdam around the Domrock Canal. Take a walk down the streets and see the variety of shows, shops, and the infamous cannabis cafes. Always take precautions and keep your wits about you, although this area is highly policed there are some less than reputable characters so keep a close eye on your belongings. 10. Artist Zoo The Artist Zoo is the oldest zoo in Holland and also one of the oldest in mainland Europe. Aside from the various zoological displays, there is also an aquarium and planetarium. There are over 700 species of animal, 200 varieties of tree, a fantastic botanical garden and micropia which features a mind-boggling amount of information on microorganisms. The planetarium will provide a huge amount of vivid information on the solar system, planets and the universe. All the animals in the zoo have spacious enclosures and are well cared for, and there is even a petting zoo for younger children together with a wealth of information on each species and its habitation etc. Thank you for watching.